Hey everybody, welcome back to another guitar lesson. Taylor Schlup here, and today we're going to go over Barracuda by Heart. Uh, this is a great classic rock song, and recently the band that I'm in started doing this song. So I had to learn all the guitar parts, and I figured why not pass it along to you guys. And uh, what we're going to work on today is the main riff. We're going to work on the two uh, different variations of that main riff that they do later in the song. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the harmonic guitar solo, which is the very first guitar solo. Uh, and then there's another riff in there that I'm going to show you guys. So I'll play them all first at normal speed so you guys can get a feel for what they sound like. And then I will show you guys slow down how to play them. So uh, for the rig today, we're going to use my 1980 Gibson Les Paul Custom. And we're going into the Fender Supersonic 22 head which is running into the two notes torpedo live and I think I've got a Selly V30 112 going right now okay so uh, we got a little reverb in the DAW and uh, let's go ahead and jump into it so it's pretty it's pretty easy actually it's there's not too many difficult parts here um, it's just a matter of getting the timing right and getting the speed right. So for the very first riff, um, what we're going to do here is we're going to do an E power chord, okay? Okay, and then we're going to play an F sharp power chord, and then we're going to play a G power chord. So slow it down, it looks like this. Okay, then after that, you're going to hit the harmonics on the D, G, and B strings on the 12th fret, and then on the 5th fret. Alright, so at normal speed, the opening riff sounds like this. When I play the harmonics, I kind of hit uh, more than just the D through the B strings. I kind of hit the E, and sometimes I'll even hit the A. So, that's just a matter of me playing sloppy, I guess. Um, so, that's the main riff that you're going to play throughout the whole song, is that... Okay, so that stays pretty consistent throughout the whole thing. Uh, now, the very first... Uh, thing we'll go off on here and uh, kind of different from the actual riff is we'll do the um, harmonic solo. So this is after the first verse, after I think it's after the first chorus. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on the 12th fret and we're going to play uh, the E harmonic and we're going to go to the 7th fret on the G, back to the 12th on the B, 7th on the D, 12th on the G, 7th on the A, and then the 12th on the D. Okay, so what you're doing there is you're uh, skipping every other string, but then you're coming back to the previous one. Um, so it's really kind of cool. Whoever wrote this, uh, the riffs to this song really liked harmonics. I'm not sure if it was Nancy Wilson or... Um, the other dude. I can't remember his name. Uh, so anyway, that solo, to get the timing here, it sounds like this. And then after that, you're going to hit that 5th fret uh, D through B again. Okay, so once again, slow down, that's like this. Okay, now the next riff that we're going to work on is in the, I think they might use it in the first verse as well. Um, it's hard for me to pick out, you know, where these spots are at, but I'm, I believe it's in the first verse. I know they use it in the second verse, so it's like... <laughs> I'm 
pretty sure that they use it in the first verse too. Uh, so what we're going to do there is we're going to play a C power chord. And then second fret. Open A. And then an E power chord. Okay, so again, slowed down, that sounds like this. Okay, then the next part of it, we're going to go... Again, that looks like this. So once again, slow down that little section there, it looks like this. Okay, so now, uh, the next two riffs that we need to work on, uh, the first one looks like this. Okay, so what we're doing there is that uh, E power chord again. Then we're going to do a G power chord, and we're going to slide up to the A. And then we're going to go D to E, so slide up those two. Alright, so slow down, that looks like this. Again at normal speed. All right, and now the last variation of the riff um, that we need to do. And I should have mentioned before that there's the main riff, and then there's these two variations of the riff. Okay, so they're not exactly the same as the main riff, um, but that's what I was talking about in the beginning when we were going to do the two variations of the riff. So, that one we just went over was the first variation, I guess you'd call it. This is the second. Um, so this one goes like this. This one's a little easier than the last one, actually. Alright, so E, power chord. And then F sharp, G, A. speed. All right, there you guys have it. That is the uh, riffs as well as the very first solo to Barracuda. Um, hope that you guys enjoyed this lesson. Uh, if you did, maybe eventually we'll do a lesson on the uh, second guitar solo and the ending guitar solo. I didn't throw those in today. Uh, because that's already quite a bit of information that we went over. And um, those those last two are a little more involved. So uh, this is kind of an easier guitar lesson. So yeah, um, but if you guys if you guys dug that lesson there, uh, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and get the bell on. I do appreciate it. And um, we'll see you guys next time for another lesson. Have a good one. <laughs> If you enjoyed the video that you just watched, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and please be sure to get the bell on. It lets you guys know every time that I release new guitar and music related content. I appreciate you guys very much and we'll see you next time.